Oh, thanks, Mackenzie. But right now, we want to bring in the challengers, JC Jane, Gigi Dolan of Toxic Attraction, and of course, the NXT Women's Champion, that being Roxanne Perez. Before Vengeance Day, Saturday, Roxanne, you became the youngest woman ever to compete in the Royal Rumble. What was that like for you in the Alamo Dome? Oh my gosh, it was overwhelming. <laughs> I'm just so grateful, you know, to hear my music hit in front of over 50,000 people and to make that run that I've dreamt of for so long, it was... It was incredible. Incredible? You mean incredibly pathetic. Roxanne! Congratulations, you were in the Royal Rumble. But you didn't win. You're not going to WrestleMania. You're going to Vengeance Day to lose your title. Mm -hmm. Maybe the reason that Roxanne lost the Rumble is because we put her ass through a table last week. Yeah, did you see the look on her face when she realized she got tricked? <gasps> it looks like Loser. a deer in the headlines. <laughs> but don't worry, it'll all be over for Little Miss Perfect real soon. You know, you two like to act like you're best friends, but I know there's a lot of truth behind everything you said to each other. The truth is you have no shot at Vengeance no Day. Shot. How are you gonna beat the two of us? You know how I'm gonna beat you? You have the same percent chance of winning that match on Saturday as you did at winning the Royal Rumble. Uh, zero percent chance. Zero. <laughs> Roxanne, you're good and all, but when you're going up against the two baddest women in NXT at the same time, you have no chance. Actually, I have more of a chance. Listen, kid, you had a good run. Eight months in NXT, it's kind of like going for a little jog. Kudos to you. <laughs> but you see, you peaked at 21 years old. That sucks for you. And this Saturday, it's all coming to an end. It's not. Oh, but it is. But hey, at least you can go back to Texas and tell everyone you had a big cup of coffee up in the big times, but you made one critical mistake. You messed with toxic attraction. Hey, look on the bright side. You can always play the what if game. What if I stayed in my lane and didn't punch up? JC, shut up, Roxanne. I'm talking. <laughs> what if I was a good little girl and didn't make any waves? Ugh. Roxanne, whether you like it or not, it's going to be two against one hmm. on Saturday. Your ride is over. Your 15 minutes of fame is over. Wait a minute. Roxanne, oh, don't go. See Roxanne, ya. please, bye, come back. Bye. Is she leaving? She's gonna leave she's in the middle of an interview. She can't take the heat. That's she's our champ. What a champion. Out of Fun. here. Well, that was uncalled for. I mean, you clearly just upset Roxanne Who Perez. Who cares? Right? After Saturday, she's old news. You're looking at the next NXT Women's Champion right here. Well, you said Roxanne won't leave Charlotte as champion, so who will? You're looking at him. Vic, I know you and Booker, especially Booker, are huge fans of Roxanne, and you're just trying to find a crack between us, but there isn't one. For almost two years, Toxic Attraction has controlled the entire NXT women's division. Mm -hmm. But for the last six weeks, everyone's been on a little vacation from it. But soon, order will be restored, mm -hmm. and Gigi and I will take our rightful spot in NXT and show the world just who the hell we really are. This day has been a long time coming. Roxanne just so happens to be the first person to push it to the edge. At Vengeance Day, the course of this women's division will shift back to the attraction when I, when we become the NXT Women's Champion. JC, when Gigi just said, <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, Look, I don't think this is a sign of Roxanne Toxic was ready for. Look, look, and destroy the set! Roxanne knows about a fight. She knows. Oh, 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 oh.